figure it out. All right. My yeah. name is Nicholas Gerald Schlipping. I'm Joshua Simon Schlob, and we did calculus and yakking, also known as kayaking. <laughs> okay, so before we start, we'd like to talk about kayaking a little bit. So kayaking is a sport and hobby enjoyed all around the world, and it's commonly confused with canoeing, so we'd like to distinguish some differences first. Uh, the sitting position is different between the two, whereas on a canoe, you would sit on like benches or kneel on the floor. Kayaking usually has like a designated seated area, and then the number of blades on the paddle is different. As a canoe would use a traditional oar, a kayak uses a double-ended paddle. All right, so what we sought out to find at the beginning, we want to find our overall distance traveled from the beginning to the end. We want to find out the equations for our position and velocity going down the river. We want to find the visual representations of our position and velocity and our average velocity while we're going down. <laughs> All right, so the plan was to start the kayaking uh, at uh, River's Edge Park near the movie theater, and then we go down the river until we got close to where the St. Cloud YMCA is, and there's a little like Boy Scouts park down there that we get off over there. We, wanted, we measured the distance on Nike Rock Club, it's that, and the, the next next slide of the slide after that, we show a time lapse of the Nike Run Club going. It basically just tracks the uh, time and the distance. And we wanted to pop points on graphs and find the tables for those graphs, and find all the equations for the graphs and the rates of the distance and the velocity. Okay, so as you can see, safety is number one priority. Uh, here's a picture of like the life jacket that we've used. This is like a dry bag for like a phone so we can bring that along. And then obviously our very safe transportation of kayaks and ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are some of the essentials we needed. So as stated before, this is Nike Run Club. Uh, life jacket, we had a GoPro strap to one of the kayaks. Here's a paddle. This is like a little thing to keep like liquids cool and then Obviously, the look to nice tea is an essential. <laughs> All right, this is the time lapse of us going. Here we just have us going on the GoPro, and then this shows the miles and the time. At some point, it's going to change the miles and the time to down here, but it, it keeps it going the whole time. It won't change this because, like, while we were tired, I, I bumped the little. <laughs> so like that you see a change there, but it's still running down below behind here in the miles of there. You can see a couple times in the video when we hit some bad rapids or if we stopped to do a video or something, so that would also affect the time mileage. This is just our overall trip. Some more of the rapids again. 
Also, we got really wet when we were going over those because it would all just splash right in the cut. All right, we're coming up on some big rapids. <laughs> it's going to be pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so the camera angle's a little tilted here because well, we were going through the rapids, and Nick hit his paddle. <laughs> so got tipped over a little bit. Basically, we were screen recording the Nike Run Club the whole time, and this is um, the screenshots every five minutes. So at five minutes, we went like 14 miles, and then 10, and then that goes all the way up to the 40 minute mark is about, like we pretty much stopped exactly at 40 minutes. Our question types that we kind of wanted to replicate were the ones found on like the AP tests, where it would give you a table of numbers, and then it would have you find out like the velocity or in the, like those cases, it's like Fahrenheit and time, but like in our case, it would be if we find velocity at a certain number. This is the distance graph after we took screenshots of all the um, things on the Nike Run app. So you can just see here for all the minutes that we traveled, we did five minute increments, and every five minutes we would um, show the miles that we went. Okay, so using this, uh, these data points, we were able to put it into our calculator, into the stat function, and then we were able to make a scatter plot. And then this was the equation we found for the position function of the line. And then uh, our next plan was to use a trapezoidal sum so we could find the average miles covered in this time. And then uh, we broke down that every five minutes so we could find out the average and like the fastest times during like different increments and then the slowest. All right, this is the graph. We this one we did on Desmos just so we could take an easy screenshot. Here you see all the points plotted. It would give a y equals mx plus b, and the m would already be um, in there for the, the first coefficient, and then the b would be where the y intercept meets. Okay, so this is the work we used for our trapezoidal sum. Uh, we used two sub intervals between, or an interval between 10 and 20 minutes, and we used the integral of the position function. And this gave us about 12.028, and then we divided by 10, because that's how many minutes were in between that interval. That gave us about 1.203 miles over the interval of 10 minutes. All right, this is a the velocity graph or table. Basically, we found the instantaneous rates using the mean value theorem through all the, um, the distances <coughs> we got. So for five minutes, we were going about, I also changed it to yards, because if it was in uh, miles still, then it would just be like really small numbers and you can get more of an exact answer. So I just decided to change it to yards per minute. So that's a time, 5 to 35, and then um, velocity in yards per minute below that. I'm going to put that under perspective. Although there's about 1,760 yards in a mile. Okay, so this uh, next 
Next, we found like the velocity function. And we used this by, again, putting in the sad plot application and the calculator. And then we figured out that it fit best to the cortic region. And then it gave us this equation here. And then we also found the total average velocity by taking y2 minus y1 and then over x2 minus x1. And that gave us 0 0.082 miles per minute, which is about 144.32 yards per minute. That was like our average velocity through the entire chart. This is just the graph of the velocity function. Again, we put it in Desmos with about the same thing. I had to find a different application on Desmos to do it because it would only do the linear one for the other one. But I found one that would graph a chordic on the scatter plot. So overall what we found is that the distance we traveled was 3.27 miles. We also found these equations, the velocity function and the position function. We found some like uh, models <coughs> of how, how the graphs look. And we found that our average velocity, again, was 144.32 yards per minute. And these are our sources. And I just want to remind you that TI is better than Casio. So. <laughs>